Ephesians 4, chapter 4. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. That's the whole thing right there, walk in a manner worthy. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love eager to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. I need to do some work there. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. John 14. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift, Therefore it says, in quotes, When he ascended on high, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower regions of the earth? He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up, for building up the body of Christ. All different people, all different gifts, different different skill sets. You might say, the body of Christ, until we all attain the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, Revelation, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine by human cunning by craftiness and deceitful schemes rather speaking the truth in love we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped when each part is working properly, it makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. Wow, it's tough how he does that whole paragraph like that. I hate to complain. I'm not complaining, but it's um, speaking the truth. We grow up into Christ. Christ, who is from the whole body, joined and held together. Until uh, we build up the love. I can't, I can't sum summarize that one. Now this I say and testify in the Lord that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. No longer walk as the worldly. Futility of their minds. In their heads. That's me. Always in my head. I'll turn that thing off. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, due to their hardness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. But that is not the way you learned Christ, assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him as the truth is in Jesus. Matthew 5, 6 and 7. To put off your old self, your selfishness, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit, John 14, of your minds, and to put on the new self, selfless, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down in your anger. And give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal. But rather let him labor doing honest work with his own hands. So that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths. But only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. That means i got to shut up most of the time. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice. Remember, it's election season coming up. 
Gotta bite that tongue. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. That's Ephesians 4. Love you. God bless.